So it's still very early in the morning here on Westminster Bridge and I'm just still trying to process the results of this referendum as I'm sure you are too. But the first thing I wanted just to say was to thank everybody who's campaigned so hard for a Remain vote. I know like me, you will be feeling pretty devastated this morning. But I think it's important to really remember why we were so passionate about staying in the EU and to make sure that we pledge to continue that fight, which is even more important now than it was yesterday, to protect our environment, to stand up for the rights of other people from other countries coming to live here and work here and study here, to stand up for guaranteeing workers' rights. Our work is even more important than it was before. And I think it's also important to look at how we as progressives are going to work together because you know what, a government led by Boris Johnson is not the kind of future that I want for this country or I am sure that you want for this country either. People have voted the way they did, I think, partly because they were feeling so angry and alienated and the divisions in this country run so deep. And if we're to ever have a chance of healing those divisions, then the progressives have got to work together. We have to find ways of working together to make sure that the future of this country is not the kind of future that Nigel Farage and Boris Johnson would like to see. So as we pick ourselves up on this gloriously sunny morning, I think we have to redouble our commitment to working for the future that we all know is out there and possible. That future is still possible. And by working together, we can still achieve it.